I'm at BAA Systems on the Clyde today, as one of the largest buildings in Scotland, the Janet Harvey Hall, has been officially opened. This is a major new facility that marks a serious investment in the future of UK shipbuilding. It's part of a wider effort to modernise the way the Royal Navy's warships are built, and to rebuild the industrial base around that work. The hall was officially opened this week by Glasgow's Lord Provost, joined by Janet Harvey's nieces. It's named after a Second World War worker at the site and recognises the long history of shipbuilding here. But this facility isn't about history, it's about what comes next. The hall itself is 170 metres long and 80 wide, with overhead cranes rated to lift 100 tonnes. It's large enough to build two frigates at the same time, fully undercover. That reduces weather-related delays and allows for a more controlled and efficient build process. HMS Belfast and HMS Birmingham are already being assembled inside. HMS Sheffield is next, with steel cut on that ship last November. Type 26 construction isn't new to govern, but this facility makes it faster, more consistent and better aligned with the delivery demands of the Royal Navy. Outfitting work on the earlier ships, the first two in the class, HMS Glasgow and HMS Cardiff, is taking place at Scotston. Altogether, eight Type 26 frigates are in order, forming the next generation of anti-submarine warfare ships for the UK and part of a larger programme also adopted by Australia and Canada. Supporting this shift is the Shipbuilding Skills Academy next door on the Scotston site. It's designed to train the next generation of shipbuilders with a focus on digital systems, modern fabrication methods and the practical skills needed to work in a yard that looks very different from one even a decade ago. Across their sites, BAE Systems is upgrading panel lines, installing robotic welding systems and even improving dock infrastructure. These changes are about throughput, reliability and making the Clyde more competitive for the longer term. The investment in Clyde shipbuilding by BAE, sitting at a roughly around £300 million, is about rebuilding capability. Govan and Scotston are being re-equipped not just to build ships, but to do so at scale, on schedule and in support of a modern naval procurement strategy.